If there's no power going to your hot tub, chances are your GFCI breaker has tripped. But don't worry, it's a quick fix if you know what to look for and where to look for it. Here are seven reasons why your hot tub is tripping the breaker and how to fix each one. Check it out. So near your hot tub inside a metal box is your hot tub GFCI breaker. It's a black plastic switch which automatically flips when it experiences an electrical surge. And that's a good thing because it prevents you from being electrocuted in your hot tub. Before you get started troubleshooting, grab a towel and a flashlight. They may make it much easier to find the problem. And remember, safety first. Working with electricity, particularly around water, can be dangerous. Be sure there is no moisture where you're working and turn off the power supply to limit your risk of electric shock. If you're not comfortable working with electricity, don't be afraid to hire a professional. Okay, here are seven reasons your hot tub is tripping the breaker and how to fix each one. Problem number one, you have a worn out hot tub GFCI breaker. The most obvious reason for your breaker tripping, it's simply worn out. Age, power surges, and even a nearby lightning strike can render your breaker useless. So disconnect everything from the GFCI and flip it back on. If the breaker trips, even with nothing connected to it, you may need to replace the breaker. Problem number two, moisture in your breaker box. Rainwater, splash out, or flooding can add enough moisture to flip a hot tub breaker. Pop open the breaker box, shine a flashlight around in there, and see if you find any moisture inside. You can dry the inside of the breaker box with your towel or turn on a fan or dehumidifier near your outlet. Then reset the breaker once it's dry. If the breaker is encountering moisture often, you may need a better receptacle to protect it, or you may need to move it further away from your spa. Problem number three, corrosion. Now corrosion is inevitable, but it can cause your spa components to malfunction. Inspect the breaker box and inside your spa cabinet for any obvious signs of corrosion. Typically, you'll see whitish powder or an appearance of rust around component connectors. Carefully inspect wire connectors, ground wires, the control panel, and anywhere where you can see component wiring. Repairing corrosion depends on where you found it and how bad it is. You may need to clean off the corroded connectors with a wire brush or an electrical contact cleaner or you may need to replace the wiring altogether. And if dripping water is the cause of corrosion, you may need to repair any leaks causing it. Problem number four, loose or damaged wiring. Now, while you're looking for signs of corrosion, look for other signs of damage to the wiring, like breaks or char marks. You'll also wanna check all the connections to ensure they're snug. If wires are even a little loose, the electrical circuit can be interrupted but fixing loose connectors is pretty easy. Inside your spa pack, tighten the screws, keeping the wires in place. You may also see plastic plug style connectors slipped out of place. Loose or damaged wiring can also lead to wiring shorts or burnt wires. Wiring shorts happen when two wires touch that aren't supposed to. This can happen if you've moved your spa, done work inside the cabinet, or you have a pest. To find the culprit, disconnect each spa component one at a time. Flip the breaker to see if it trips. When it trips, then you've found the malfunctioning component. You might need to replace the wires and connectors there. Burnt wires can happen when old wiring overheats. Shine a flashlight inside the breaker box and cabinet and look for wires with blackened spots or melted rubber insulation. You may need to replace the damaged wiring, but you also have to figure out why it got so hot in the first place. This is probably best left to a professional. Real quick, before we continue, if you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your hot tub questions, go check out our hot tub handbook and video course. You'll get in-depth video lessons, plus a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything that you need to know about hot tub maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your hot tub clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of hot tub. The best part is, we always keep it up to date, so once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. That's swimuniversity.com slash spa and use the promo code video. Problem number five, electrical component issues. All spas have at least a few electrical components like heaters. You may also have a sound system or interior lighting. 
If any one of your electrical components is misbehaving, you could trip your hot tub breaker. So disconnect everything from the GFCI. Then connect each component individually and flip the breaker. When it trips, then you found the problem component. But you'll also have to figure out why the component is malfunctioning. This can be complicated and may be best left in the hands of a professional. Problem number six, a bad heating element. If something is causing your heating element to malfunction, the hot tub breaker will trip. Disconnect the heater and flip the breaker switch. If the hot tub GFCI fails to trip when the heater isn't connected, you may have to replace the heating element. It could also be a heating element short. Disconnect the power to the element, then remove it from the heater assembly housing. Use a multimeter to test the resistance between the two terminals of the element. Very low or very high readings indicate a bad element. Also, check if the heater housing appears melted or burnt or the element itself shows damage. If so, you'll need to replace the heating element and the housing if it's damaged. This can happen from low water flow due to clogs, deposits, or other circulation problems. This may also mean that your high limit switch thermostat or fail safe components aren't working properly. Problem number seven, flooded air blower or ozonator. Is water flowing back into the air blower or ozonator? If so, it's likely tripping the breaker. Disconnect the blower or ozonator from the breaker and flip it. This can happen if your check valve is bad or your hot tub is overfilled, which means water is moving through the check valve to the blower or ozonator. So drain some water and then replace the bad check valve. If the blower is wet, you may also need to replace it. Now, while it's annoying when the GFCI trips, it's the first sign of an electrical problem with your hot tub and it's there to protect you. So even if you can't make the repairs yourself, this should help you narrow down the problem. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know. Hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. And if you want to learn more about hot tub maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel and check out the hot tub handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com slash spa. Don't forget to enter that promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy soaking.